What is up YouTube? Brian here back again with another high-end rod review. Today we are going to look at the Mega Bass US Destroyer Javelin. Now this is a rod that I'm excited to talk about. It's a rod that I have used the entire summer. We're here in fall, the snow is starting to fly, the season's over, and I'm ready to kind of recap uh, the Javelin. First off, uh, please hit like and subscribe. I know you like high-end rod reviews because you are watching my channel. Please go back in my history. I've done a lot of videos on Mega Bass, St. Croix, G. Loomis, um, Shimano. I got more stuff coming. Um, you know, if you're on this channel, then you're probably really into this stuff. And uh, hit like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And also a shout out to my Instagram. I'm at Punch Fishing. And uh, I post a lot of content there that isn't really a full review or anything like that. So please check out my Instagram as well. The link will be in the description. Okay, let's talk about the Javelin. So this rod is very, 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 very interesting. So this is a five power USA Destroyer. It is a seven five, so it's long. Um, so seven foot five inch five power, which puts it in kind of that medium heavy power range, borderline medium, but more of a kind of a traditional medium heavy. Uh, it's basically the extra long version of the Deimos. So the Deimos is a 7.25 power, this is a 7.5. You get the extra length, um, but basically all the same build quality and some of the same techniques that you can do on the Deimos, you can do on the Javelin. So first off, if you haven't watched my videos, um, I'll go over some of the fit and finish about the Mega Bass US Destroyers. Uh, they're fantastic. The guide wrapping is top notch. You got, um, you get, uh, SIC guides, which is you know pretty high end. It's not the most highest end anymore, but it is still really good. Um, you're getting the you know fit and finish quality that Mega Bass is known for. All the guide wrapping and threads are like perfect, uniform all the way. Um, as I said all the time in, in all my other US Destroyer videos, the cork on the US Destroyers is not great. Um, it's like a B grade cork. It's definitely not high end. It's not as good as St. Croix's high end cork. It's not as good as um, like a Shimano Conquest cork. So for a $400 rod, you're getting cork that's about as good as like cork you get on like $200 rods, to be perfectly honest. If you notice on my on my particular um, Javelin, uh, a lot of the filler is starting to show because this rod has been pretty much used and abused. Um, so you're getting a lot of filler kind of showing itself. I actually have some filler falling out in a few places. This rod does get U40 sealed. Um, and cleaned up every year, but you know, it's just showing a little wear and tear. So don't expect high in cork, but hey, it is what it is. Also, one of the complaints on US destroyers and, and honestly, any destroyer rod going backwards before the P5s is the lock nuts. This is the weak point in these rods I've talked about in a few in previous videos. On this particular javelin, this lock nut is fine, but I have other rods where the lock nut is starting. This is a cosmetic piece over a plastic screw down cap. So this cosmetic piece has glue, and it's glued to the cap, and uh, if you're taking your reels on and off all the time, that glue will separate at some point, and the cap will start to get loose and actually pop off. You can re-glue it, you can throw some more glue on, slide the cap back on, and it's good, but then it'll eventually break loose again. So just a, just a user note, if you pick up a used destroyer, um, or you buy a new one, and you get and the cap starts getting weird, that's totally normal, it happens on a lot of these rods, for a $400 rod, you think that wouldn't happen, but it does. Okay, moving forward. So the balance on this rod, because it's a 7.5, is pretty amazing. Um, now, keep in mind, I have a fully spooled um, Lose Pro Tournament. I'm um, sorry, Lose Pro TI on here. Uh, it's spooled with, spooled with four carbon. And as usual, the balance point is like either at the tip of the lock nut, or actually this one is just up a little bit. So for a 7.5, this thing balances pretty well. It has a fairly short handle. Um, you know, maybe if the handle is a little longer, it would balance a little better. Um, this is not what I would consider a lightweight reel. It's kind of in that average weight. So balance wise, it, it's pretty good. It's not like phenomenal or stellar, like some of the other US destroyers, like the, um, the balance is a lot better on like a bunker buster, that kind of stuff, but it's, it's pretty good. It's acceptable. That's for sure. Now the Deimos is a very versatile rod and that's exactly what this rod is kind of like, except it's way longer, which means if you need to make really long casts, the Javelin is your jam. So what I used the Javelin all, all year for was um, mostly throwing uh, spinnerbaits. This is a fantastic spinnerbait rod. Buzzbaits, this is a fantastic buzzbait rod. I was throwing the Jamaica bow on this thing at the end of the season. 
Um, you can definitely throw chatterbaits with this rod. It's a fantastic chatterbait rod. You'll actually be able to, you'll, you'll be able to make really, really long casts with this. Um, so any single hook moving baits, you could definitely throw with this. You could throw swim jigs. This is uh, rated up to three eighths. So you can, you know, you can throw a lot of half ounce single hook moving baits with this. What I also really found was fun to use this rod for was, um, big square bills. So I was throwing like 2.5s or slightly meatier, chunkier square bills, and this rod was really good at that. I actually had one day where um, I was throwing a square bill at this grass line way far down, away from my boat. Uh, I would hit the grass line, a couple cranks to drag it through, and I was getting bit down at the end of the cast, and I was able to feel the bite and lay into the fish with this rod from way far away and keep them pinned really well. I mean, this fish, I caught some fish where they ate it and then they went in the grass, and I was able to get them out with, you know, good sharp hooks on my treble, or good shovel hooks on, that I upgraded on the crankbait, but also because this rod has a really nice, deep kind of parabolic action for a 7.5 medium heavy, um, you know, you can keep a fish pinned at the, at the far end of your cast pretty well. So if you notice, I'm not going to do a bend test with this rod with other rods because I don't really have any comparable rods to this. I don't have any 7.5 kind of medium heavy ish rods, but if you notice, now this is with a reel on it. Um, the bend, the parabolic bend it has kind of a fastish tip, but the parabolic bend goes to about right where my rod, about right here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six guides where it's a really kind of soft tip. I mean, this tip is pretty, pretty whippy, but then you hit into a pretty, um, a pretty good backbone right here. So you got a lot of power right through here. So this rod excels at versatility. This is a super versatile stick. If you're a kayak angler or you're a person who has a small boat and you can't bring a bunch of rods out with you, the javelin could cover so much for you. It can cover shallow cranking, square bills. This thing can crank pretty deep. You can throw a DT10 on this. You can actually throw a 300, a Mega Bass 300 um, deep X on this thing. Um, you might be able to throw an 8XD on this. I didn't really test that too much, but this thing can go a DT4, DT6, DT10. Um, like I said, a deep X 100, 200, 300 on this thing, no problem. You could throw like a Sonic side, you could throw, um, you know, any kind of mid range cranks. You can throw spinner baits, you can throw buzz baits, you can throw chatter baits, um, you could throw lipless with this if you really wanted to. If you're throwing like a heavier lipless, like maybe like a half ounce, um, you could definitely do it with this. Also, guess what? This rod can bottom contact. If you want to throw a Texas rig out deep and you want to make a big long far, a big long cast, you definitely can Texas rig with this thing. You can throw weightless Senkos. I know there's people who actually fish this rod with um, uh, weightless Senkos. Uh, really this thing is a super versatile rod. It's very sensitive. Um, down at the end of the cast, you can feel bites. I really love this rod just because there's so many things you can do on it. It's, it's not a jig rod. It's not for setting big hooks, hook sets on the bottom, like with thick gauge, um, baits, like a football jig or anything like that. But you know, if you wanted a light Carolina rig, you could definitely do it with this rod. Um, there's just all sorts of crazy applications you can do with this rod. I mean, a seven, five, you know, medium heavy that can make really nice long whippy casts, um, has some sensitivity, has definitely has power. I mean, there's a lot of applications you can use for this rod. So I have to give the Javelin a gold star. It's probably one of my favorite rods in the US Destroyer lineup. Um, it's unlike like technique specific rods like the FMJ or the 110 Special, this thing is a true versatile do, does a lot of things rod um, so if you're going to spend 400 bucks and you want one rod that can you can just throw some four carbon on it um, do a bunch of different techniques all day just cut different baits off switch 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 um, this is a great rod so one thing i have been doing a lot this year is i've been throwing just these little uh, clips at the end and this is where i just switch out all my crankbaits so when i'm on cranking duty with this thing or throwing, um, you know, like a rattle trap or anything like that. I keep this on there. Then if I switch over to the spinner bait or the chatter bait, I cut this off and I just tie direct. Um, you know, I can't. I have really, honestly, nothing negative to say about the javelin. It's 400 bucks. You can find these things in the used market for around, you know, 300 to 320. Or if you can find a place that'll give you a discount on Mega Bass rods, you can get 20% off on these things. Typically, um, also beware. If you do buy a Mega Bass Destroyer or really, really any Mega Bass rod on the aftermarket, 
your warranty will not be honored. They will not replace your rod if you break it within the warranty period if you do not have the original receipt and you are not the original buyer. So that is just a disclaimer on the warranty on these things. So if you want to buy them on the used market, always be careful because you have to figure if you break it, then you're pretty much SOL on a replacement if you're in the warranty period. So anyway, just to recap, Fit and Finish is fantastic as with every US Destroyer. Super blingy, super glossy, it's comfortable. Um, the balance is like pretty good, not like stellar, but it's definitely not terrible. Um, the rod is pretty light um, for US Destroyer. So the thing is like with the P5s, the new P5 Destroyers that came out, they are really light. They're like NRX light and they make these things feel heavy. Now, when these things came out a couple years ago, these things are super light, but the, the competition and the innovations are kind of you know ramping up. These are still amazing rods. So if you want a one rod that kind of does a whole bunch of stuff, but you like making really long casts, right? And um, you want that distance in your cast, the Javelin is a slam dunk. So got nothing but good things to say about this rod. Um, I love it. I'm gonna keep it in my collection for the foreseeable future. It always finds a way to get used. Um, I'll say my most productive thing to throw on this rod all year was definitely big square bells and spinner baits. I did a lot of other stuff with it, but those were the two that I liked doing the most. So if you throw a lot of um, spinner baits, you know, you want a really good spinner bait rod and you're like mega bass, the Javelin is definitely one you should look at. I mean, you can look at like Diablo Spec R's as well, but I personally would like the Javelin just because of all the other stuff it can do. So one rod to rule them all for, you know, lots of different applications. Uh, if you own a Javelin, shout out in the comments what you like to use your Javelin for because I'm very curious what other people do with this rod. Um, I know some people like to throw like paddle tail swim baits on this rod, like smaller ones or medium size. Um, so paddle tail swim baits, you know, all the things I already described, maybe even small swim baits on this would be good, like hard body swim baits, like little baby bull shads or something like that. So uh, shout out in the comments what you do with your Javelin. I would love to hear it, but this is a great rod. This is definitely a winner in the U.S. Destroyer lineup after using it for the better part of five months, I have to say that uh, I can't find any flaws with it. It's just a killer stick. I'm glad I have it. Um, it does fit in my rod locker barely, so uh, it's going to stick around. So until next time, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one.